oh hi thanks for watching my video so today I'm in a little bit of a troublemaker mood so we are playing with my sim here her name is Aubrey she's new in town she lives in Newcrest yeah new in town and here to make an impression as the title suggests Aubrey is going to be having quite a busy few days so currently we don't actually have any friends we have no relationships with any other sims but we're about to change that because Aubrey is going to be on a mission to get herself knocked up by every married man in town. And when I say town, I mean Newcrest is pretty empty, but I mean the base game world. So Willow Creek and Oasis Springs. I've worked out that should be four families. The Kim Lewis family, Pancakes, the Goths and the Land Grabs. And we are going to get knocked up by every single one of them. However, this isn't just going to be a straightforward, you know, wooing four guys and getting them to knock my sims up. Aubrey wants to go about this in a slightly different way. She's a pretty sneaky and conniving sim. Quite vindictive, actually. Nasty piece of work, this girl. She doesn't just want to have secret affairs. I mean, that is part of it. We are going to be having secret affairs, but we, we want to really hit these families where it hurts, you know? Break up these family units. Destroy the lives of many people. So not only are we going to be building relationships with the husbands who are able to impregnate us, we're also going to make a bit of an impression on the wives as well. We're gonna become best friends. So, Aubrey, no time like the present. I think we should head to our first victim's home. So we're gonna start off with the only married man in Oasis Springs, Jeffrey Landgrab. Knock on the door. So as I said, we wanna build up a relationship with both Jeffrey and Nancy today. We're just gonna go friendly, friendly. We don't need to dive straight in. We could take our time with this. We should probably start with a nice introduction. Uh, friendly introduction. I hope Nancy's home because I was hoping to befriend her as well. Where is she? Oh shit, there's a bassinet there. Have they had another baby? Yeah, they have. Tristan Landgrab, who is only an infant. Oh, Tristan, I'm sorry. I don't even know you, man, but you're going to be caught in the crossfire of this. I do apologise. Friendly introduction. Don't bother talking to Malcolm. He's not really important in any of this. We, we want to befriend Nance. Oh, hang on. You know what? Seeing as they're both here, can I start a group? No, I still need to introduce myself. Okay, fine, fine. I want to try and um, two birds, one stone this and get Nancy and Jeff in the same conversation. Soul, soul, Nancy. I can see by your physique that you've been spending Jeff's money wisely, which is great for you. Oh, whoops, didn't mean to offer Rose. Which is great for you, but don't you think maybe you should share the wealth a little bit? Don't you think maybe there's enough to go round? Oh, I think Jeff is coming over for me to say hello to. Dag, dag, Jeffrey, dag, dag. Okay, get Jeff and Nance in a group. Sit together. Sit and chat, actually. Sit and chat. We want to establish ourselves as a trusted friend within this couple. Why ma Oh, Nancy's going. No, wait, Nancy, don't don't go. Don't go. What if I just reset Nancy? Will she will she stop going to work? Is she gonna turn back around? Stop her in her tracks? Yes. Okay, cool. She's coming back upstairs. Great, great. Right, let's just have these guys sit and chat, break the ice, get to know both of them. Oh, Nancy Landgrab, where are you going? Cozy, isn't it? Oh, I think Nancy is uh, letting us know where we stand. But you know what? I, I'm not going to let that bother me. I think Nancy really likes us. We're building up a relationship, slowly but surely. She likes fitness. We could like fitness too. We could just like everything you like, Nance. Don't know if we're even friends. Yeah, we're still just acquaintances. You know what I'm thinking? I might try a little trick, a little bit of trickery. Now I know that this has, um, the photo thing has been patched out, but there is a way around it. Take a little selfie together. Oh, look at that best friend, so happy. I might even just keep one of those for myself. Okay, give gift, photo. I'll give her four photos and that should drastically increase my relationship with Nancy. And that is my way around this. Oh, we're, we're on hugging territory now. Okay, I think we are friends with Nancy now. Yes, friend, and we've got good compatibility. Okay, great, great. Well, I guess I could be friendly with, uh, with Jeff as well, why not? It's all just friendly. Nothing too serious. We've already got to know Nancy, so we can just spend some time getting to know Jeff. We're taking a selfie with our other best friend. I noticed just as they said cheese to take a picture, Nancy went, oh, like, oh, you guys are taking a photo together too, are you? Oh, I see, okay, fine, I guess that's okay. And then I will give Jeff a few gifts of our photos together so we can hang them up on his wall in his office, maybe. 
Okay, I think we are... Oh, we're still not friends with Jeff. Well, it's like 4am. I didn't even notice how late it was. Is Nancy even still home? I was going to give her a hug goodbye, but is she taking herself to bed? Where is she? Oh, she's talking to her baby. Well, I'm going to say goodbye, Nance. So uh, I'll come and uh, just give you a quick hug because your friendship means so much to me. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye. All right, let's head home and uh, see if maybe Jeff wants to come with us. He's already in his pyjamas. But who knows, maybe he's up for a little trip. A little friendly adventure, perhaps? Oh, Jeff, it is raining so heavily. We should probably go inside. Come on, get in from that rain. You don't want to get wet, do you, Jeff? Okay, now I have another idea that might help me get into Jeff's heart. Or at least into his pants. We'll just take some photos together, softly, softly. So we're going to go ahead and take some more selfies. Oh, he's thinking about me. And this time, we're going to go romance, affection give romantic gift. I have 11 photos in my inventory and I'm pretty sure... Oh, I could try making a uh, flirtatious joke as well. I'm going to give him a load of romantic gifts and then build up our romantic relationship. He doesn't seem, he doesn't seem upset by my advances. He doesn't seem upset at all. In fact, he's very flirty. Oh, this might be easier than I thought. Oh, Jeff. Jeff loves a romantic gift, doesn't he? I want to try and make the most of this, this flirty mood that he's in. Maybe, uh, oh, he's offering me a rose. Oh, Jeffrey, you little slut. First kiss, should we go for our first kiss? Oh, first kiss achieved. Every day we share together, we're creating our own fairy tale. Oh, Jeffrey Landgrab, you slimy little snake. Woohoo in the shower. Should we just suggest it? I mean, we're already at a steamy exchange. I think she's asking the question. I might not even need to give him another gift. I think he's... Yeah, he's already up for it. He's already game on. Oh, Jeffrey. What would your wife think about this? My best friend. Oh, this is so scandalous. I feel like I'm playing through an episode of EastEnders or something. Well, that was quick. One out of four achieved. Assuming we got pregnant, which we should do because my sim is very fertile. Oh, those, those guys, they're really having fun, aren't they? Really going for it. Okay, no protection was used. Let's take a pregnancy test and then maybe we'll send Jeff home. What's the verdict, Aubrey? Good news? I don't even know if she wanted a pregnancy. Would be happy to have a child. Okay, fantastic. Aubrey is pregnant. Ah, oh, Jeff, yeah, Nancy's probably wondering where you are. You should probably go home. Yeah, you should really get going now. Right, we're a bit hungry, but other than that, we're doing just fine. So grab yourself a sandwich because I have plans for us to go somewhere else today. We want to get to know the neighborhood. I wonder if I could bake some brownies. There's a certain someone I have in mind who would love to receive some brownies, I think. Still has Jeffrey Landgrab here as a pleasant conversation, but he's gone. Hopefully that goes away soon. Hopefully these brownies don't turn out too badly. We've only just acquired the baking skill, so I'm hoping it's enough to win Bob Pancake's heart. Right, don't eat those, just put them down. There we go, that's right. Pop them down, stick them in your inventory, and then we're gonna go on a little trip. Introduce ourselves to the neighbors, the pancakes. Oh, it looks like they've had another baby. Stacy Pancakes. Knock, knock. Okay, we're gonna do the same approach. We're gonna befriend the wife first. I'm thinking about starting a little, a little club maybe with all of these married couples as friends. I see Liz there in the background. Friendly introduction. Introduce yourself to Liz first, get on the woman's side first. Yeah, I'd quite like to form some groups and get like a little a little social club together with all of the married couples. That way it's like the ultimate betrayal, ultimate dirty secret. Heartfelt compliment, bright and day. We should be um we should be at really high charisma in no time, the amount of socializing I'm doing. Oh, I think Liz has gone to check on the baby. That's fine. I'll just go and introduce myself to Bob. Bought him some brownies, hope he doesn't mind. Liz, I know you don't like to spend much time in the kitchen, so uh, I thought I'd pick up the slack on your end. Hey there, Bobby boy. He's already in a flirty mood. That's probably just from seeing my face. Oh, Liz is going to work. Oh, dear. Right, we'll just tell Bob a few jokes, and then we will go to... Give gift. Premixed brownies. Oh, thank God, they're normal quality. I was worried they'd be poor. Come on, Bob, stop being a dad and pay some attention to me, please. That's right, walk away from your infant. Spend time with the sexy lady. Hopefully we're still here by the time Eliza finishes work and then we can befriend her as well. Oh, he loves the brownies. Oh, Nancy's calling. Hey, Aubrey, you're so notorious that one of my unscrupulous friends has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? Yeah, sure, Nance. Oh, are we going upstairs? 
Why are you guys going upstairs? You're going upstairs to give Bob his gift? So this is your room, huh, Bob? You know, Bob, I, I feel like we've really got to know each other pretty well recently, and uh, I feel like no one really gets you except me. Even your wife doesn't seem to get you. You're a hunk. You're a handsome guy, Bob. I'm surprised you don't wake up in the morning and feel that you don't deserve more. Oh, Bob's gone somewhere. Okay, well, then in that case, I'm just going to go... I'm going to go home. I was going to hang around, but Bob's fucked off. I'm, I'm not sure where he's gone. I think he might have left the infant home alone, but you know what? That is not my problem. I see we're a bit tired, so I'm just going to send you to bed for a little bit. We need, probably should think about getting a job at some point as well. I've got my nurseries ready. Just in case you thought I wasn't prepared. Okay, that's that's enough sleep. I'm thinking, seen as, as far as I'm aware, I think now I can invite anyone to, um... Oh, Jeffrey's come over. Hey, Jeff. Wants to become best friends? Yeah, of course, of course. I think I can invite anyone to an event now, so I'm going to try and throw a housewarming party. It's a shame it's so rainy. We'll just do a house party. I'm not going to make it a gold event. We will host once we get dressed. Oh no, I can't invite anyone. I thought I could invite, like, anyone in the town. I thought they changed all of the events. Oh shit, okay, fine. Well then, in that case, get dressed. Jeff, I'm going to need you to leave my house. I've got some travelling to do. I'm going to go introduce myself to the other couples just so I can invite them over. So, Kim Lewis, let's start with you guys. Knock, knock. Okay, is that Alice over there? Okay, I'm going to go introduce myself to Alice. Why are you going upstairs to introduce yourself to a sim who's down here? Stupid sims. And now I guess we go back downstairs, uh-huh. Hey there, Alice. What a lovely home you have. Oh, what? Why is Jeff following me everywhere? He wants to know if we will be his girlfriend. No, you've got a wife. This is... Keep it under wraps. Man, Sims have just got no fucking tact, have they? This is not a sister-wife situation, Jeff. This is a deep, dirty secret that I don't want everyone finding out about. Okay, we've introduced ourselves to Alice. Let's see if the other fella is around. Oh, here we go. Eric. Eric Lewis. Funny introduction? Seen as we're in a playful mood? Oh, Jeffrey Landgrab, he's going to be such a little cock block, isn't he? Sul Sul, Eric Lewis. Charisma level three. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, I think we're just going to go take a shit in their house and then we'll make one stop over to the goth house and then I'm thinking tomorrow we'll see if we can throw some kind of, like, housewarming party or something. And then after that, I think we should probably try and get a job, Aubrey. We're going to run out of those savings pretty soon. But at least I've introduced myself to everyone I plan to sabotage. Okay, Goth family, final stop. And also they have had a baby. Elena Goth. Oh, you guys are already right outside. Well, that's great. I'll do a friendly introduction to both of you. Looking dazzling as always, Bella Goth. Oh, Bella's embarrassed because she made an unfunny joke and Mortimer didn't laugh. Oh dear, Bella Goth. Trouble in paradise, perhaps. Mostly bad things I've heard about you. Oh, for God's sake, I only had one affair. Keep it calm, Aubrey. Have I got a bad reputation or something? No, it's neutral. I'm not even that notorious. I don't know why I'm getting harassed by people. Okay, we've introduced ourselves to the goths. I think we're gonna go home. This is a marathon, not a sprint, so we don't need to seduce them straight away. We'll just go home. We'll plan, um, we'll fill our needs, and then we'll have a party tomorrow. I think probably you should um, do some cooking. Have some vegetable dumplings. Because if we're hosting a party, then probably we should get to grips with the basics of cooking. And then what else do you need? Ah, uh, not much. Maybe a little sleep? Oh no, we've woken up with morning sickness. Oh shit. Doesn't stop us from singing in the shower though. Look how happy she is. Such a happy sim. Well, we do have quite a while to... We've got some time to kill, so maybe we'll find a job. Because sims don't usually start a job until like a day later, so we'd still get today off, I think. What should we go for? I think let's do Style Influencer. I feel like that's the kind of job that would suit Aubrey. We've got two whole days before we have to go to work. We probably will have had this baby by the time we go to work. Oh, look at the state of that toilet. I think we should probably clean that up. We're having guests over, Aubrey. Have some self-respect. Are you going to watch the TV season premiere? You may as well get that out of the way. Achieve the, achieve the holiday of the day. And then we will plan a social event. Okay, house party, not gold. We will host, and our guests will be Nancy and Jeff, Eric and Alice, Bob and Liz, Bella and Mortimer. Oh, that's a point. I could just get a caterer in, couldn't I? Yeah, I think I'm going to get a caterer in. We will do it at my house. Okay, perfect. 
Oh, this is my party wear. Welcome everyone, come on in, come on in from the rain. In fact, I might just, um, I might use this opportunity to complete my work assignment as well and interview some sims. Everyone's scared of the thunderstorm. Everyone just chill the fuck out, will you? Welcome, welcome, come on in, come on in everybody. Sol Sol Jeff. Oh, look at our romance bar, it's gone right down after I said no to being his girlfriend. What a sore loser. God, Jeff. Get it together. Maybe I should get some music playing. The atmosphere seems a little, a little dead today. Hopefully that relaxes everybody a little bit more. Oh, these two are getting on well. All right, we are just making our way around everyone. Try and befriend mainly the ladies. The ladies are my main priority. In fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna create a new club called the Best Friends Club. Oh, I don't have enough spaces to have every couple. Okay, that's fine. In that case, I'm just gonna have the ladies really cement the fact that we are best friends. Okay, there we go. We've got the best friends, best friends club. Oh, it looks like the party's moved itself into the, uh, into the kitchen. Everyone's getting fed. Okay, great. Now, I think it's only really Bella that I need to work on a friendship with at this point. Okay, Bob is going to be the next person on my hit list, so I need to try and make some time to build up a bit of a relationship with him as well because he's gonna be my next baby daddy. Just make a beeline for Bob. Forget everyone else is here, Bob, it's just you and me. Okay, hopefully, hopefully these interactions will help me get on a friendly level with Bob. Well, everyone has noticed she's pregnant. Everyone's felt the baby. No suspicion so far, guys. So uh, yeah, just got this one from the sperm bank. Oh, I think the event is over. I guess everyone's leaving now. Oh, okay. See you later then, I guess. Hey, I heard you became friends with Eliza Pancake. She's pretty cool. Well, yeah, Bella, you were there. Getting a good reputation, that's what we like to see. Oh, there's even some leftovers for me. Well, we are almost in our third trimester, so I'm kind of thinking it might be a good idea to invite Bob over. Oh, I can't seem to invite Bob over. Okay, fine, fine. Uh, what about Eric? I can invite him to come over. Oh, Eric Lewis will be right over. All right, we'll just do this bit of washing up and then, oh no, he looks pretty sad and gloomy. What's wrong? What if I just ask him to cloud gaze? That should build up our relationship without any effort on my part. Could just be a casual, friendly cloud gaze. That's what he thinks anyway. Oh, lovely. Okay, and then they should just automatically start building up that, that relationship, just as friends. Oh, I always love the way this game looks at sunset. So pretty. Oh, Jeffrey again. This is gonna sound crazy. I know we're friends and all, but I have a crush on you. For fuck's sake, ghost him. Jeffrey, don't be so fucking desperate, man. Don't be so sad. How about some jokes? Will some jokes relieve the tension a little bit in here? He dislikes cooking. Oh, that's fine by me. I don't really like cooking either. Oh, he's feeling my baby. That's gonna be you. That's gonna be you soon, Eric. Okay, you know what? It's getting a bit late. Perhaps it might be a good idea to invite Mr. Pancakes over. Why can't I invite him over? Okay, fine, I'll invite Eric over again then after I've just sent him away. I guess Eric is gonna be the second baby daddy. I was thinking it would be Bob, but Bob's just too busy, I guess. You're looking like you're gonna, oh, neat. Yeah, sure, you're looking like you're gonna pop there, Aubrey. I might just put you in labor. We'll invite Eric in first. He can witness the birth and then see if he wants to be a part of the, uh, the next phase. Come on in, Eric, come on in. All right, he's in. Let's go and have this baby and then see if we can woo him into having another. Oh, actually, I should have put her in labor after doing all the flirting because right now we only have a friendly relationship. I'll just queue up a few things. Give romantic gift. I'll just give him some photos. Flirting while giving birth. Oh, we had a baby girl. What should we call Jeffrey's baby? Um, Zara. There we go. And then straight on with the flirting. Don't even look at the baby, just get on with the flirting. Think about the mission in hand. How's he gonna react to the rose? Oh, he loved the rose, okay. All right, starting to build up a romantic. Oh, he's already flirty. Okay, this might be easier than I thought. Oh, the flirting is going well. That romance bar is building nice and quickly. That's what we like. And then maybe a uh, first kiss? Too soon for a first kiss, perhaps? Might just check her fertility rate. Just make sure. Yep, still a hundred. Okay, great. Oh, things are getting pretty suggestive. See if we can get that into Amorous, shall we? Oh, it's a steamy exchange. Okay, great. Well, that took all of about five minutes. Let's woohoo. We are friends with his wife, aren't we? 
Yep, all ready. A friend will always be there for a kind word. Uh-huh. Come on, Eric, follow along. Oh, look at the state of this kitchen. I have to clean that up once we're, uh, once we're finished. We'll clean this up. I'm not here to live like pigs. And then we'll take a pregnancy test. I think the baby's crying. What's she moaning about? Oh, no, she's fine. She's fine. Good girl. Take another pregnancy test then, shall we? Yes. Baby number two. Right, I'm going to send you home. It was nice to have you here. We should probably pay those bills. This is going so well, Aubrey. I'm so proud of you. Right, it's a bit late. It's like midnight, so I don't think anyone's going to come over. So I may as well just go to bed. When do we next have work? Let's see. Eight hours. Okay, so we're going to be going to work today. When do we have work? Two hours. Already level two of the parenting skill. Do I have enough time to... Uh... Oh, no, I don't have enough time to shave. Okay, we'll shave when we get back. <gasps> Alice wants to become best friends. Well, your husband just knocked me up, so I don't see why not. Of course we have to be best friends. Right, off to work we go. We didn't even get a pop-up to suggest that we could get a nanny. Oh, Zara has been sent to daycare. Okay, well then can you fuck off? Because you're making time go very slowly for me. Get out of my house, Alice. It's Zara's birthday. The time just flies by, doesn't it? Oh, God, so she's going to become an infant already. Congratulations to the... Uh, Alice, you are being a bit full on. I think you need to chill out a little bit. Oh, we got a promotion to consignment commenter. Oh, you look fabulous. Okay, I need to get to level two writing skill, but my main priority, invite Bob to hang out because I'm friends with Eliza. Okay. I don't want to woo with Mortimer until I'm good friends with Bella. And right now, we're still only just acquaintances, so I need to work on my relationship with Bella a little bit. Bob Pancakes will be right over. Okay, great. Hey, Bob. So we're still, you know, pretty pregnant. We're not even in our second trimester yet, so I don't think there's any point really in trying to woo Bob or anything like that. So I don't think there's any point in trying to woo who with Bob, but I could at least try and get the relationship to a good spot, you know? Is that a nose ring? Is that a nose ring you're rocking there, Bob? You're going through some kind of midlife crisis or something. Oh, Bob is gloomy. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, he's just not getting out of this this tense mood. Okay, he's in a happy mood. Let's just check. What's the deal with the baby? She needs a diaper change. Okay, fine. Change dirty diaper, and then we'll get back to our chats with Bob. Finally, I feel like I'm getting somewhere with Bob. Are you going to go rifling through my trash? What are you going to do? <laughs> Why are you going through my rubbish bin? You left a fucking mess. What if we try... What if we try a flirtatious joke? Will he be difficult about that, or will he embrace it? Oh, he didn't mind the flirtatious joke. What about if we offer Rose? Oh, oh, <gasps> he loves it. Okay, yeah, I'm in there. I'm definitely in there. Who would have thought so many of these married men are just unhappy in their relationships? Well, he's feeling kind of flirty, so I might be able to get a first kiss out of this. Oh, yeah, we're already going in for our first kiss. Oh, this is brilliant. Oh, shit. Eliza's standing right there. Oh, fuck. Um, what, what if we... Shit, what if we go inside? Uh, you know what, I'm just going to walk away from this situation. I'm going to walk away. Eliza's obviously seen a few things that she doesn't like. I'm going to go inside. What's the situation with Eliza? Do I have any new... Okay, I don't have any new sentiments with her. So she might have a negative one with Bob, but she doesn't feel any type of way about me. So I'm just not going to invite her in, and I'm just going to avoid her. Damn, I was not as sneaky as I thought. I shouldn't have done this on the front porch. Oh, Carla, you stupid bitch. You should have waited until you are indoors. Oh, well, in for a penny, in for a pound. Come on, Bob. Is he still in a flirty mood? Yeah, he is. He is. Oh, so scandalous. Woohoo. Woohoo in the shower. Before the baby starts crying again. Oh, the baby's already crying. Okay, no protection was used. Wouldn't it be funny if one of these sims had some kind of WTD and it just kind of spread around the neighbourhood? All right, I think baby might be hungry. Chill out, baby. You're going to get fed. Hold on. Mummy's just got to eat first. Feed the baby. Take a shit. Go to bed. Yeah, good luck going home, Bob. Hope you enjoy the shit storm awaiting you at home. What's this baby's fucking problem now? Oh, Zara aged up. We will make her sunny. Make her an easy baby. Oh, what a cutie. She's such a cute baby. All right, the baby's asleep. Have we got work today? No, we've got three days off. Oh, perfect, perfect. Okay, let's go shave. Bless her. She, she does look very pregnant, doesn't she? Isn't she only in her third trimester? No, she's in her second trimester already. How are you already in your second trimester? That just flew by. Oh, she nipped herself while shaving. <laughs> she was literally shaving and went, ow! Oh, all right, calm it down, Zara. Calm it down. 
Don't need to be such a drama queen. Right, well, the baby is sleeping. I feel like this might be a good time because the only people I really need to work on a relationship with, Bella and Mortimer. So I'm going to go somewhere with them. I'm not sure where. I was thinking a restaurant, but this is a new safe house. So I don't think I've got a restaurant placed. So maybe we'll just go for a day at the museum, perhaps? A little friendly gathering, try and get closer to the two of them. I want to try and do what I did with Bob and have Mortimer pretty much lined up so that when we have this baby, or sorry, while we're pregnant with Bob's baby, we are pretty much ready to go with Mortimer. Oh, don't be tense, Bella. We could be best friends if you'd only if you'd only open up. I don't think we're too far off being friends. I mean, she's in a tense mood, but our relationship is, is pretty good, so I think we'll be friends in no time. Are we friends yet? Oh, yeah, finally. Okay, we are friends. Great, great. Okay, well then, let's chit-chat with Mortimer because we barely know him. We're literally only just acquaintances, so I think we could probably stand to build up that relationship a little bit more. Oh, we've got a sentiment with Bella. You're so fun to be around. Oh, if she only knew my plans. I am surprised that my reputation isn't being affected at all by the fact that I've, I'm, I've had so far three affairs with married men. Yeah, I've got such a good reputation. If this was The Sims 3, I would have a terrible reputation. Should we invite Mortimer to feel the baby? Give him baby fever? Oh, Bella wants to become best friends. Like putty in my fucking hands. Yes, please, Bella, I would love to be your best friend. Oh, the museum's a hot spot for Sims, I see. So many people gathering around. What, what's that face for, Lilith Pleasant? Are you lusting over Mortimer as well? You kind of seem like you are. She's looking, like, longingly at him. I feel like my relationship with Mortimer is taking a little bit more time than what I would like to build up. He's quite a sceptical guy, isn't he? This is building up very slowly. Oh, well, Mortimer's fucked off. Okay, great. Well, that was it was nice to see you, though, Mortimer. Great. Well, there isn't really too much I can do now, because Mortimer's left, so I think I'm just going to go home. And I think we might just progress to the next stage now. I think maybe we should have this baby and maybe invite Bob Pancakes over, get baby number three underway. Oh, the two are coming with me. Oh, Mortimer, I thought you'd left. Didn't realise you were so keen. I suppose we could hang out together for a little bit longer. I don't see why not. Okay, maybe I'll just do a few interactions. See if we can just become, you know, at least just base level friends. Yeah, we're still, still just acquaintances. Okay, well, Mortimer, I think, is going to take a little bit more work. But I'm going to go ahead, send Mortimer and Bella home. My sims are on short lifespan anyway, so Zara's going to age up any minute now. Oh shit, she's pregnant with twins. One boy and one girl. Oh man. Okay, well, let's have these babies. Right, you just lay there quietly, Zara, while Mummy go and has her twins. Oh, wow, you've got quite the mess on your... Oh, I thought that was going to be something interesting, but no, it was just someone offering to clean my house. No, I, I'm fine for baby daddies, thank you. Should I, um, maybe get Bob on the phone? Oh, we had a baby boy. We'll call him Monty. And a baby girl. We'll call her Melanie. Oh, congratulations. Where, where did the other baby pop up? Oh, in that crib. Okay. Yeah, I think, should we maybe just invite Bob over? Get number three underway. Invite to hang out at current lot. Bob Pancakes will be right over. Oh, of course he will. Invite in. I'm not going to make the same mistake as last time. How were things when you got home, Bob? Oh, he looks like he's tense. Why are all these Sims tense when they turn up at my house? Infants can be a real handful, especially for new parents. I specialise in childcare and I've helped young families in your neighbourhood plenty of times. I'd be happy to help out for a few days if you're willing to accommodate me. Oh, this is a lady asking... I think she's asking me for a stay over, isn't she? Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I could do with the help. You're right. You're right. Um, you're right there, Bob. You're just having a bath in your swimming, sh in your swimming shorts and your little trunkies. Yeah, I'm guessing now she's staying over, right? Yeah, she's staying over for three days. Well, you better fucking help. You're not just here for a free ride. Aubrey, don't worry about the babies. Leave the babies alone. That's what this lady is here for. This is Eleanor's job now. Eleanor. Eleanor, earn your keep. Oh, yeah, he's, he's feeling tense. Why? Why so tense, Bob? Right, I'm thinking probably I'll try and tell a few jokes. Try and get him out of his tense mood. Look at the way he's looking at her. Why are you so angry? Okay, finally, he's playful. Oh, Bob, it's so hard to break through that wall. Okay, now, let's see if we can take things flirty. Make another flirtatious joke, maybe? Okay, I think he's going to turn flirty pretty soon. 
Woohoo in shower. Should we see if you want a woohoo? Oh, oh, I think he's gonna say yes. Yes, okay. Pregnancy number three on its way. You know what I would quite like to do though? I'd quite like to have a little, a fun day at the park maybe. So what I might do, I'm gonna age up Zara so that she's a toddler and then I'm gonna turn the two babies into infants. Oh, no protection was used. Take a pregnancy test. Why are you so pissed off? Because you're tired. Oh, wouldn't it be so handy if you were in a bed, literally in a bed right now, like you are. Oh, babies, man, they just got no fucking common sense. Right, let's take a pregnancy test. Oh, yeah, Aubrey is pregnant. Right, let's see. Why can't I age you up? Oh, these babies screaming. Oh, will you guys just shut up? You're driving me mad. So what I might do is... I'm gonna age up the infant and then age up the babies. So at least that way I've got a toddler that I can take to the water park. I mean, I suppose I can take infants as well, but you can't take babies anywhere. Cause I'm kind of thinking of having a little mummy's gathering, you know, inviting the girls to the water park or maybe to the little, the little family center in San Sokoa. Monty can be calm. Just pick the easy trait, shall we? Hello, Monty. Welcome to infanthood. Why isn't this baby aging up? Age up, Zara. Pissing me off. And Melanie can also be sunny. I want some easy babies. Oh, Bob should get going, yeah. You see, I've got my hands full and you decide it's probably a good time to leave. Let's just, um, should we clean this? We'll clean the bathtub. Pissing me off that Zara's not aging up at all. I'm just gonna do it in Creator Sim. What is your problem, huh? Why won't you become a toddler? There you go. Wasn't too hard, was it? She can be independent. Didn't realise how difficult it was to age up infants. For some reason, I thought you could just click on them and just age them up. Sure, I've done that before. Right, we're going to go on a family day out now, household. Uh, we're also going to bring Bella, Alice, Liz and Nancy. We're going to have a mum's day out. Okay, I think I can only bring one infant here, but that's fine. I'm going to pick up little Monty. Now, who is the wife of Monty's parent? Isn't it Alice? Yeah, I might just... um. I might rub salt in the wound and hand Monty over to Alice. Just so she can have a little snuggle with her husband's baby. Introduce her to Monty. Oh, Jeffrey's turned up again. You know what, I can see why Nancy fell out of love with him. He's just so needy. Oh, there he is. Are you having a little cuddle with your husband's kid? She has no idea. Cute, isn't he? Yeah, cuter than your kids. Okay, I'm just gonna walk away now. Enjoy holding Monty, bye-bye. Should we maybe play a game? Uh, we will play symbols. Oh, yeah, we'll be a goofball. We'll play symbols with, um, oh, where's Bella and Nancy gone? Okay, well, I guess we'll play with um, Eliza. We won't disturb Alice while she's holding the baby. Free babysitting. Eliza, you coming? You coming to join? There we go, we'll play a game of symbols whilst currently pregnant with your husband. Oh, it's just so nice to have some girl time, Liz. Just some one-on-one -on -one time, just me and you. We've already built up friendships with them. I feel like the next phase is to maybe try and become best friends. Share big news, tell Eliza you're pregnant. Another one from the sperm bank. Will you go away? Look at you, you look like a joke. Sunglasses inside, dangly earrings like that, dressed like a modern day vampire. Go away. Go away. Oh shit, it's 10 o'clock at night already. Where where does the time go? Oh, well, it was great hanging out with you girls. I think probably I should take the kids and head home. I hope that woman's still there to help with the baby stuff. Yep, yeah, she's still here. Okay, good. Put Melanie down here. Put Monty down there. Oh, I should probably get a toddler bed for Zara. Shame you can't get toddler bunk beds, really. All right, there we go, that will do. Hopefully they can navigate around that those small, those small spaces. Oh, look at you carrying two at the same time. Aren't you resourceful? Right, we'll pop those two to bed, we'll take a little shit. I know he's crying, but just ignore it. Just ignore the baby. He's just being a little attention seeker. You know what Monty's like. I really hope we don't end up with another set of twins. Cause right now the kids we have are a bit of a handful, just constant crying. Right, let's go to bed. I'm actually kind of looking forward to when we get to go back to work again. Get a break from these kids, from these tots. It's a shame you can't just send them to daycare as and when you please, you know? Without having to leave the house. That would be great. Man, that would be great. 
How far are you into this pregnancy? You're nearly in your... Oh, you're still only in your first trimester. Well, we don't really have much else to do. And we don't have any more babies left. So I kind of feel like we should probably have this baby and then start putting the works into baby number four. Oh, they're playing lullabies from the stereo. How cute is that? Imagine, she went to work three days ago. I think she had one child at that point. Or actually, I don't think she had any. She's had three days off, and by the time she comes back... Oh, how was your long weekend? Oh, it was great. I had four children. Oh, Melanie's very hungry. Fucking Eleanor! I don't want to have this conversation with you again. You were told to earn your keep. That baby's hungry. Pull your fucking finger out. Be a parent, Eleanor. Oh, the shame of it. Oh, we had a baby girl with Bob. What should we call her? We'll call her Cookie. Okay, this baby, it needs... Feeding definitely needs changing as well, so we'll do that. Change diaper. Pipe it down, you grumpy goose. Okay, okay. We'll, El we'll make the most of Eleanor still being here. We'll invite Mortimer over. Now, we only have a friendship with Mortimer, so I don't know how likely it is that I'll be able to seduce him and get pregnant by him all in one day, but my God, we will try. Why won't you change this baby's diaper? Change its diaper. That's why she's kicking off so much. Oh, is that my man over there? Oh yeah, eligible bachelor number four. Right, we'll just finish changing this shitty diaper and then we'll come and come and chat to Mortimer. Look at the state of Eleanor. She, have you like had an accident, Eleanor? Jesus Christ! How can you be taking care of these babies when you can barely take care of yourself? Okay, I wonder if I can give him a romantic gift of some of these photos. Maybe a rose, just a smooth, velvety rose, flirtatious joke. A romantic relationship has started. We could offer him a rose. He's in a flirty mood. Kids, be quiet. Mummy's on the pull. Oh, this really does feel like a madhouse. It's so noisy in here. Oh, he loved that rose. Oh, I might blow a kiss. Kiss hand. Things are getting suggestive. Oh, he is loving this. Oh, what do you want, Eliza? We've been thinking about trying for a, ba <laughs> a baby. Um, yeah. Why not? The more the merrier. Expand the family. First kiss? Little first kiss, Mortimer Goth? I have to keep crossing off the pop-up she keeps getting for her kids. That's what Ellen is here for. Yeah, I can tell you these, uh, these ladies are definitely my friends. They call me every day. They text me every day. Asking me how I am, congratulating me on people I'm friends with. Okay, woohoo in shower. Wants to become best friends? Of course. I've cycled through so many best friends at this point. I think Mortimer is best friend number five. Cross off the infant. Just try and drown out the... That's why we woohooed in the shower, for the running water to drown out the sound of babies crying. Haven't you turned out to be a well-behaved little child? Just sat there quietly, minding your own business. Ah, you are my favourite, Zara. Okay, once we take a pregnancy test, I think probably the wise thing to do would be to send this bitch home, Eleanor, and then I'm going to hire a proper nanny. Because Eleanor's just, you know, she's taking the piss. She's not pulling her weight. Wants to know if we'll be his girlfriend. Oh, come on, why do we do this? Let's not play these games, Mortimer. I hope I'm pregnant after that, otherwise I'm going to have to try and... Okay, okay, I am pregnant. I thought we'd have to try and keep sweet with Mortimer again, because I think their romantic bar goes down when we reject him. Okay, home. Hire a service. Nanny. I would like you here all of the time. Send Mortimer home. Your nanny will arrive Sunday at 12. Okay, good, good. Oh, look at the state of this baby. Oh... No, leave that baby alone. I told you to do this one. Give bath to Monty. He's looking a right state. Eleanor sat there playing with fucking toys. Okay, the nanny's here. Come on in. Don't even knock on the door. Just get in here and help. Just come in and help me. Please. This is so full on. We have no routine. We're just kind of winging it. And to make matters worse, you're just standing there doing nothing. Can you make yourself useful, please? Are you? You're on the clock here, you're getting paid. Oh, Cookie is very hungry, apparently. I will go and breastfeed her. Put Monty to bed. Oh, I think she's feeding her, isn't she? Yes, okay, great. Now, don't you start crying. Okay, this one needs to sleep, so I'm going to soothe Monty to sleep. 
and then we're going to soothe this one to sleep and then hopefully we'll get a few minutes of peace in this house. Okay, the infants are soothed. The baby's not crying. Oh, thank God for that. You know what? I think, I think I might take a nap. There we go. You just shut your eyes and forget that you have a family now. Four children. This one actually looks quite a lot like um, her brother, Jet Malcolm. Yeah, yeah. And then Cookie has Stacy, her half sister. And then Melanie's got Olivia as a half sister. Such a such a big family, you know, like a little lovely little lovely spider web. Oh fucking hell, they've started again. Right, you two ladies, make yourselves useful, please. I'm trying to sleep. Okay, let's have a quick meal. Well, I mean, all of the socialising is done. I've done, I've put the legwork in there. I've got a great relationship with the ladies, great relationship with the dads. Yeah, we're all really good friends. And I've got pregnant by every single one of their husbands. Oh, Bella's trying to set me up with one of her mates. Yeah, go for it, go for it. Now, I do actually have another plan for this family. This was kind of a two-stage process. Stage one was getting pregnant by all of the married men in the base game worlds. Stage two is going to be uh, another part to this. Not really a series, I guess it's only two episodes, but in the second episode, we're going to play with child support. With the, um, there's a mod that I've used before that basically adds realistic finances to the game. So I'm going to install that and then same time next week, we're going to play with this house again and see how much money we get in child support and this is kind of why I wanted to do this let's play because I thought well this would be the perfect family to use because we'll be getting child support from four fathers for five children so we'll be able to see how much it costs for one child and then for what's his name Eric how much it's gonna cost Eric to pay for his twins there isn't really an awful lot I have to do at this point so I'm thinking what I might do is I might age up all of these so I've so I'll have a child, two toddlers, the baby's going to become an infant. In fact, I might just age her up now. And then we're going to have our baby. Our family will be complete. And then I think we'll close off episode one. Cookie can be cautious. So let's go and... Let's go and modify in Creator Sim. So, Zara, congratulations, girl. You've just had a birthday. You're now a child. She looks a lot like her dad, doesn't she? She's got very strong features, this child. Um, we'll give you the social aspiration. Self-assured. And then Cookie, you're going to stay an infant. Melanie, however, look at the angry expression on her face. You're going to become a toddler. She can be inquisitive. And then Monty, you're also going to be a toddler. Gosh, they look so different considering they're twins. And he can be silly. Okay, our family is almost complete. The only thing left to do now is have our fifth and final baby. Oh, I hope it's only one. Yes, it's a boy. All right, let's have Mortimer Goth's baby. It feels like so long ago that we moved into this house and we were only new in town and it was just us. That feels like it was so many years ago. Come on, Aubrey, you're fine. Don't make a meal out of this. We will call him... Victor. Okay, there we go. We've had a baby with every married man in Willow Creek and Oasis Springs. So as I mentioned before, this is a two-part series, so I'm going to end part one here. And in the next one, we'll be joining this family while they go through the experience of claiming child support from the baby daddies. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.